Right, so I thought I'd do a video on the tower and cheat engine. Now, before I get started, uh, any use of this is at your own risk. I cannot be held responsible. Please do not distribute Birdie's Table as your own, and please do not sell any items for any type of money, currency, um, because it's not really right. Birdie makes it free of charge for everyone, and especially the speedrunning community, because that's what they're a part of and enjoy. So just enjoy it, respect it, and have fun, basically. Um, anyway, cheat engine here, we're running at 7.3 and the latest birdies table, I can't remember what version it is, but it's the one, the latest one. You always want the latest one. So anyway, the tower. So we're going to go play the tower. Now, I wondered if we could actually... Microsoft Store, come on then. Um, I did wonder whether we could actually cheat the tower. Now you can, but there's some things you need to do for, on it, or rather not do, to make sure it works properly. So... We'll touch on it when it gets there, so let's just follow along and we'll be absolutely fine. Now, if you haven't used Cheat Engine before, I do have a video. It is somewhere, I don't know, it's a bit old now. I don't even know if you're using 7.3, might be 7.2, but it's basically the same. A little bit's a change on the table, but you should be able to get to grips with it. Now, I'm only going to go over the basics here, so let's have a look. Right, so I'm on floor one, and I've changed the floors, if you hadn't noticed, so that it is the boss level, but it spawns one mob. This is just for speed, it doesn't alter the mechanics of the game, not really, because it's still a combat floor and not a boss floor. So anyway, we've done this level now and we've hit the level 1 cleared, and we're going to hit the item selection screen or the level cleared screen, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, that's what we've hit. And this is where you need to be. So we need to go onto Cheat Engine here and we need to click Get Version Info. When you click Get Version Info, it will go off and it will find what you need, or what you have, I should say. So it says Windows Store here and then the version. Then I'm going to click Plat. No, I'm not going to click Plat. Scripts, Item Editor. Now in here, it says here highlighted item IDs so when you click or highlight an item you can see it changes over on the right there on cheat engine and this is what we need so I've got the bone club here yeah bone club and I'm going to change this and change it to something else so you double click on where it says bone club and you have a drop down menu and I'm going to change it I don't know what can we change it to um, really try and keep it the same otherwise it might bug up um, I tried changing a um, artifact earlier, and it just it just didn't want to change to something, something other than an artifact. So um, let's change it to 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 the sinister sword. Sword, God, sinister sword. I can't say that word. Sinister sword, tongue twister, or what? Right. So we click on that, change it, and then what we're going to do is we're going to drag this over, and we're going to drop it in. And you can see here, it's changed. We click undo, it will be back here. Yeah, so we've changed this to the Sinister Sword, I'll make sure that's highlighted, come off, over, and then we can change other things. So the power, power, double click here, it's <coughs> it's a float value, so it's always got a decimal point. Um, it works a bit weird, so just have a play around, I'm not going to go over all of it now. So 88, we're going to go back here, we're going to push it back in here, and you can see here, oh, let me go undo, and you can see here it's changed to level 871. We're now going to go change the, what well, my saw, wrong one, on here. And I'm going to change it to unique, OK. And then we can click on gilded data. We can change all this here. So not gilded to gilded, OK. Unset here. We can change this to whatever we want on here. I don't know. Let's do um, critical hit, OK. And then the value of the enchanted critical hit. Now there is a way of changing this. I'm not going to go over it now where you can put a maximum level in there. But for this purposes, I'm not going to worry about it. So there we go. We have a gilded sword now. Undo. And then we can change the enchantments on it here. So you can only change what's there. I wouldn't suggest putting new ones in because sometimes it does muck up. And it does crash your game. So make sure Sinister Sword is... Oh, I can't say that word today. Sinister Sword. Um, and then we can change here. So we can do it here. So unset. We can change to, let me think, what do we want? Smiting? I don't know. Thundering? Guardian Strike? That's fine. And then let's change this one to something that we don't normally have, which may be an enemy. So we've got Shared Pain, we've got Damage Counter. There is, there is quite a lot of um, enchantments, and some are enemy and some are not. Look at that. 
hunting bow tagged enchantment slow resistance slow immunity there's loads uh, huge invisible so we can change <laughs> make ourselves invisible which is always fun um, you can't see where you're going I was actually looking for speed oh, those ones are unknown um, I can't remember what it's called now I'll be here forever so let's just add something that we know works um, doesn't matter does it really let's change it to committed okay so again onto the saw we want put it over and it hasn't worked this time so maybe we can't do them oh go away undo right let's try that again so let's put them on there it has put these ones on it but it didn't like this one let's try that again we're going to do sharpness okay if i want to here put it there undo it no it doesn't like it which is very strange but it's put it on there it's oh it's for spiking twice and got a pain cycle that's here unset right knock back okay there we go so then we bring it back and it's there yeah so we have knocked back now now with birdies table if we uncheck that it will minimize back up now the other thing that i know that birdies table's got here is if you click play a data we can do little things here and change different things um we can do infinite enchantment points now i'm playing uh 1.12 so we want to click 1.12 and in a minute i'll show you so let's um let's just equip this there you go so we got <laughs> 10,000 enchantment points now. So we're all ready to rock and roll. So you can see here that my sword is. You can't get any better, really. I mean, that level. And then I can go. Oh, I put all of them on. And. Oh, no. And then I'll put that one on. And then we go on this and we put that one on. And we go on this and we put that one on. yeah so that level's done now easy peasy so now we can move on to the next level we can choose the next item that we want to modify so i've got my grim armor there my uh, modified armor that i've uh modded all right we're gonna go here oh we want that one actually we want um might break the game um here so that is not sprout armor that is dark armor and we're going to change this to i don't know which one should we change it to let's change that crash mystery armor Mystery Armor Unique. Um, so yeah, bear in mind some stuff does break. Let's change it to the Hungry Horror because everyone likes the Hungry Horror. And then we're going to change it to, I don't know, 50. And then Common to Unique. Okay. Gilded. Gilded. Okay. And then here rampaging that'll do and we're going to change level three so we go back over here we're going to select it we're going to go back into there and then we're going to undo it and it's see what i mean it's completely mucked up i've just done it for that one you've got to be very careful anyway that's worked just not in the way that we wanted to do it so that's why i say always swap it for the one that you're doing it for because you shouldn't be able to drag that onto there and this onto there um before where you're doing it in your inventory you can drag them onto any one it doesn't really matter but here i would suggest just keep the the like for like so apparently that's got six enchantment points on and it's not ours and that one there it's um all a bit weird that's completely mucked the game up but anyway, never mind, let's do the bow then. If we need a bow, let's do the bow. So we've got hunting bow, we want to change that to I don't know, the saber wing maybe. Um always try um soul hunter, that soul hunter crossbow, that do. And then we're gonna change that to five yeah, five thousand. Um unique and then gilded. I mean no, oh, not that one. You can change it to whatever you want you can have a play do whatever you really want to do and have some fun basically prospect there it's a melee melee enchantment but hey, who cares i don't all right so we're going back onto here we're trying to there and there we go undo that and that one's become gilded now so it's all it's all a bit eh, it's because of um this here because i had it crossed i think still but that's what we wanted look at the 49991 and then 
da, da, da. You, can, you can play around with it. So we're all kitted out here. Um, we accept that, and hopefully it doesn't break. So you can see here, I've got my uh, Hungry Horror armor on, I've got my sword, and I've got my bow. And we've got one spider to defeat. But you would have maybe a uh, million, million different mobs, maybe, I don't know. Quite a few. But that is it in a nutshell, that is what you can do with the tower. So we can do the same with artifacts here. We don't want an artifact gilded. Oh, we don't want heavy crossbow, we want this one here. We want, there you go, the thundering arrow. We want... Um, gotta be careful not to choose the wrong thing. I want, I want the satchel. Where is it? I don't know. But satchel of elements. That's what I want. And I want the power to be that much. There we go. So we've got the satchel of elements at a stupid amount. Let's say it was, it's gilded. It's gone gilded. I just don't know why, because. <laughs> I got gilded off on here, I thought. It's gone gilded, but <laughs> never mind, doesn't really matter. Um, like I said there might be some bugs and things like that. So we see how this works. Should be a one hit kill. I oh, know. It's nice, isn't it? When you want it to explode, it doesn't explode, it freezes them. That is it, I think, now, basically. We do have other. If we go down to here, I'm just going to accept the enchantment point, not that I need it. We do have physics and fun within the table. I um, can't quite remember, it's just reading the data from the, the game now at the moment, just to um, gather all the information so it can build it, so you can do stuff. Um, you just got to let that run, so let's just do the next level. Yay! Uh, it's taken a while, I don't even know if it still works. Um, I can only assume it does, it's slowing down a little bit there. Um, yeah, that'll do. Right, there we go, so we've got God Mode, that's all we've got. We've got, f oh, we've got full and no clip mode, I don't know if that works. There we go, so, no clip mode's working. You jump. Yeah, so you jump to go up, which is always fun, and you can fly around the level and see what it's all about. I think I died, yeah. And then let's turn that off then. Oh, there we go. And then we will do god mode. So assumably I can't get hurt now. I don't even think he attacks me anymore. No, he just died doesn't like me, so he doesn't want to attack me. And then we've got Disable Most Collisions. Um, disable Most Collisions, God Mode, right. I don't know what Disable Most Collisions done. You can have a look in the... I'm sure there's help. Oh, so they do see me, but they don't even hurt me anymore because I've got God Mode enabled. This is the level I didn't change because there is a way of going around the outside without actually even doing the level. Oh, here we go, just flying around the map. I think we can go up as high as I want. Because generally there is no... Um, oh, I think I might hit the wall there. I say generally there is no thing to hit. And we can fire arrows at everyone. Yeah, that is pretty much Birdie's cheat engine table in a nutshell um, just a quick overview quick how to what you can do um, like I said I'll try and put everything in the um, description down below so you can have a look but yeah just use it for fun don't use it for any other means that's what it's there for what well, it's actually there for speed running but other people use it for other stuff so yeah hopefully this video you've liked it um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more videos and hopefully I'll see you again soon